Bonnie lads on to it. Once again. Oh, oh yes. Yes. You know what makes sense. Right. Oh. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show Mandingos. Yes, it's a cold and beautiful day in the Lake District. And I'm with these two legends today, Cowboy Chris oh, and on. the King of Swing Dingo. We're gonna do a wild camp on Seal Fell. It's only about 398 meters, something like that. So it's not a mountain, it's more just like a, a big hill. When we get set up, rather than just sitting around and drinking too early, we're gonna go for a hike over on there. Lingfell? Lingfell, I think it is. Lingfell. So we're going to get two staying rights in the deer. You better believe it, man, dingoes. It's going to be more of the same. We've got loads of cans to drink, loads of shite to talk. We've all got something different to cook. So, yeah. Wask your review coming as soon. Oh, yeah. Coming soon as well. Guess why, man? Well, not coming soon. Coming soon. Coming later. <laughs> coming later, guys. That's what I meant to say. A, a nice bottle of wasky that's been kindly given to us to do a world famous Waski with you. Okay then guys, I'll bring you legends back when we get closer to the top. You better believe it. Right. Oh. No, it's all about me. <laughs> God present. <laughs> Why well, you some guy, Richie? Eh? Bad pit. Some Clark Gable. <laughs> Old boots. But you've got to wear them in so that the spot on the ankles. Fun, mate. 15 minutes, guys, and we'll be at the top. Nice, easy one to do. Oop, nearly slipping over. We're being a bit lazy on this one. But why not? Gives us more time for drinking and talking shite. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. Cowboy Chris is leading the way with his new Scarpa hiking boots on, fresh out of Go North East. <laughs> Young Chris has got the TNT in his backpack there <laughs> for later. <laughs> the, old, the old bomber, do you? <coughs> Here we go. Last push. <laughs> Some mountaineers. Spit the shack on. Slipped again. Okay, then my fan sexuals. That's the top of Seal Fell there. I'll take you over when them people's gone. Yeah, it's pretty busy. They're flying a drone over there. So we're in no rush. We've got loads of time. But look at this man. What an absolutely fantastic spot to set up camp. Camp Mandingo. We've got the views in the mountains over there. Snow on the top. Lovely views down on the lake. Yes, over on the Solway of Firth and Bonnie, Scotland, over there. Absolutely tremendous. Plenty room here for three mandingos. You better believe there is, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get this Baghdad off me back because it weighs a ton. Get set up 
and I'll bring you legends back in a couple of secondas. You better believe I will. Mice. Okay then, folks. That group of people have now moved on. They've got to fly the drone somewhere else and scare the shite out the sheep. You know what I'm talking about. So, I'm now on the top of Sail Fell. Oh yes, although it's just a, one of the smallest mountains or big hill in the Lake District. The views all the way around are pretty spectacular. But that's not why we're here guys for the Blot Outdoor Show. Well it is a little bit. You know, we do come for the views and because it's a beautiful place. I absolutely love the Lake District. It's my favourite place in the world whether I'm camping or on holiday with Mrs. Blot and Little Blot. But I, the bonny lads, we're here for some drinking and having a good time. You know it makes sense. It's still a little bit early to crack the cans open, guys. We're gonna try and wait a little bit longer. We were gonna walk over to that one over there ring smell <laughs> ling fell but um i think we're going to give it a miss we'll see if that we'll come back another time and we'll wild camp on there and smelly orifice i mean how long is it going to take us to walk over there About 45 90, minutes 90 so by the time we get there chill out for a bit and walk back it's going to start and get dark because i mean it's pitch black isn't it by five o'clock all right so we're being lazy very lazy guys on this one we're going to just chill out, get the gear set up, and just take in this fantastic scenery. That was boring, wasn't it? Oh well, let's get the cans open instead. <laughs> right. Okay, guys, we've got the first mishap of today. Well, a second one. He's forgetting his hiking boots. Well, else have you forgetting, Chris? Pegs. He's forgetting his pegs for his tent. Somewhere, man. Somewhere. Wild we'll find some rocks, peg it down with big boulders and that. More people over there now. <laughs> you could use the bottom of this tube, the bottom of this rock. You put them in the ground. Asparagus outdoor show. Okay, guys, no one around now. So it's the perfect time to get the tent up and what a fantastic spot I've got. I'm in the Berghaus Berghaus again guys tonight. So good they named it twice. Young Chris is over there. Cowboy Chris is going to be a little bit further on. Plenty of space for the three of us. No need to be right on top of each other. That's going to be my views down there on the lake and over on the Skiddor or Skidder as the locals say. Skidder Medidas or Mundi Bedundis is the sea in the south of France. Oh. Right, how are then? Let's get this tent pitched up. I'll bring you back in a minute. These two trying to set the top up. Paul Mesner and here's outdoors. If you bought them from Wish. One peg. One peg Shakur. One peg Just show you the view from my tent, Mandingos. Oh, yes. A 
it's a bit early but while the two Chris's are still setting their gear up why not have a little cheeky one you know it makes sense guys mm. yeah thank you Stephen Duncan for giving us this we will certainly do a world famous waski with you later on cheers Stephen my man friend mmm Oh, perfect Amondo Mandingo is the same they do dying. Okay then. I'm gonna join the two Chris's taking some of the scenery and when I bring it back I'm gonna show you all my setup, all my food and drink and all that shite. You better believe it. Okay then Mandingos. Time to show you my setup and my food and drink for tonight. As you can see, I'm in the Burghouse Cairngorm 2 Manor. Let's have a look inside. My sleeping quarters. I've got the foil mat down there, guys. I've got this multi mat mattress airbed that got given to me about a year ago of a guy called Jeff. It's the first time I've used it. So cheers, Jeff, my man friend. I've got the Four Season OEX 900 sleeping bag. Trekology pillar. The Baghdad's down there with me electrical zine. As you can see, I've got some dry clothes and dry socks and all that shite. Bin diesel in the corner there for all me shite. Me little table here. I've got four cans of Thatcher's Gold. And I'm going to get stuck into one of them very soon. I've got a nice little bottle of red wine from Aldi. Actually really nice them. They're only about a pound fifty or something like that. Jack Daniels single barrel select for the world famous We View. Once again, thank you to Stephen Duncan for that. There's me cup there. I've got some caramel cappadingos. Good old Jurgen Cloffies for Inzi Morgan for my main meal. I'm going to make a chow mein. I've got these chow mein snoodles with soy sauce. It says it's got uh, carrots, red onions and soy sauce. 60 seconds to cook in, so they're ideal for camping. I'm going to chuck some chicken in with that and some of these extra large king prawns. Magic. Snackaroonies. I've got the Italian cheese and meats. My good friend, Mr. Kipling, who I went out with for a couple of pints yesterday. You give me them. Six country slices. I'll share them with the two Chris's. We've got six pork pies. We've already had one each from Aldi. Tomato and chilli. I've got a couple of these. Scotch Dr. Legs. Smokehouse barbecue nibbles. I'll share them with the lads. Perry Perry flavour. The good old Kevin and Perry. Brown's Bill Tong. Remember, guys, when you click that link, I'll leave a link in the description. Click the link, that'll take you through to their website. And remember to use the code MANDINGO for your discount. Best build tongue on the market, I think, guys. I've got plenty of water there for when I want a Jürgen coffee. And when I've got dry mouth in Z Morgan. Yes, the old pansexual to cook my food in later on. The old pansexual. Pan. Sexual. Oh. <laughs> well, is that it? I think I've covered everything, guys. I'm going to get a can dingo. And I'm going to take you over to the two Christofskis. Hi! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> nearly fucking best me, nearly best me, drum up. <laughs> I think I filled me pants there. <laughs> so, Cowboy Chris has set his DD top up. Follow that. Why uh, aye. That'll ding dang do for these mandingos. You better believe it. Oh yes. So cowboy Chris is in the trusty faithful Orion 200. <laughs> like I say, he forgot his pegs. So he's done the best he can. Me and young Chris spared him a couple of pegs each. Enough. And he's got some some big rocks there, it'll do. Luckily there's no wind up. 
and we're not forecast for a windy night. It's going to be cold though. It's going to be very cold. What have you got to eat and drink, cowboy? I've got a steak, asparagus, pepper, Stella's brew dog. On the old wife baiters. On the old uh, tranger you set there. It's got the same sleeping bag as me. Four season OEX. The only new thing I've got. It's got sheep shit all over the bottom of these trainers. No. Nice. <laughs> I am bothered. Is flex steel pillar. Very, very light. Really good. And that was kindly sent you from Flex Steel, wasn't it? It was, yes. I'm not and a pump as well. Not affiliated. I'm not getting nothing for it or anything. They just sent us it. And Very that was nice. It. So one. I said I'd mention it. That's all it is. Magic go. I do. If you've got a head the size of you. King of Swing Dingo. Let's have a look at your setup. So you're in the Coleman. Bad X2. Oh, that's a little over eight. Decent tent. So I've been in the Oxy's Isle. We've got some Char Guild. Salt and chilli thigh. Cheapskate. Um, to go with that. <laughs> to go with that. I've got some cheese. Tortilloni. Just pasta bit. Very nice. Um, Any snackaroonies? I've got some tomato and basil sauce to go with that. All right. Just to lubricate it all up. Need some lube. So it goes down my throat. Oh, mason. Oh, mason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my snacks. I've got some salami and a mozzarella. Why are you some Gino Di Campo? And then I've got Ch Chino Di Campo. <laughs> and I've got some Browns Piri Piri Biltong, which was kindly sent to me by Browns. Oh, are you on the Browns as well? Oh, I'm on the Browns. I thought they only give stuff to me. Well, I guess we're going to have to fight it out, aren't we? Hey, my God. <laughs> Uncle Bensky's been texting us as well, you know. Uncle Bensky, babe. Oh, aye. Having a few words, like. Uncle Bensky's all right. It's that man from Del Monte you kind of trust. And then a drink. I've got some Scrumpy Father Jacks. Scrumpy Jack, why are you cultured? And I've got some wine and whiskey mixed together. So why? I'll be having a good time. Why? Wine and whiskey together. Just to have a good time. Oh well. That's all I'm here for. That's it, mate. Lube, wine and whiskey. Wine and whiskey, what better combination? That sounds like a fantastic night. Sounds like a party to me. Well guys, that's it. That's our three tents, that's our three setups and our food and drink. I'm now going to enjoy this. And I'll bring your legends back when I think there's some more shite to talk about. Oh ho, ho, yes! You know what makes sense, man, dingoes. Boom. Right. Time for a little chess warmer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm just bringing you back, guys, for a little bit of crack on before it's totally pitch black. The two Chris's are now sitting under the top. Young Chris is about to put the music on. So I thought, aye, it's a good time to have a bit of crack on with you legends. Because if I'm talking while the music's on, I'll get copyrighted. And then the video might not even make it onto YouTube. If you know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. I only brought four cans and then this waski to share. Miniature bottle of wine. And I've drunk two cans already. It's only quarter to five. <laughs> so I need to slow down. I think I'm going to make a coffee in a minute. Just to pass a bit of time away, you know, by the time I've made the coffee and then drink it slow. It just keeps us from drinking my cans. If you know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm fully wrapped up, as you can see. I've got my down pants on, two down jackets. Yes, I'm keeping warm before I get cold. Look at this, man. Absolutely tremendous. You've got snow over there on the top of Skidder. Doesn't get much better. Just sitting, chilling, having a waski. 
fantastic. This is what it's all about, Mandingos. <laughs> I kind of stop smiling. I love this. You know, you've got people out there and they'll say they're dying to get into stealth camping. Sorry, wild camping. That's because I'm normally out stealth camping. I am dying to get into wild camping, Mandingo, but my fitness is not very good. I know some people that can't even manage to do this for one reason or another. But if you are just like thinking you're not very fit because you haven't done much exercise since you stopped playing football or whatever, you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. This was easy. From where we parked the car and we walked up here and we were walking really slow and we were stopping and recording bits on the camera, it only took like an hour, not even that. If we just carried on walking without stopping, we, could, we would have been up here in like 40 minutes. Yeah, it's perfect guys, absolutely perfect for a beginner wild camper. Anyway, <laughs> you can tell I've had a few waskies guys. I'm, I'm starting to talk shite already. And I'm starting to mumble me words, as I normally do when I've had a few drinks. Anyway, I'm going to join the two Chris's. When I bring you back, it's going to be pitch black. Fantastic. Bring you back very soon, guys. Right. <laughs> I couldn't wait any longer guys I've just popped back the tent I was going to get one of my cans of Thatcher's Blood Orange but I thought oh, I'll keep the cans for later I'll have a nice little bottle of red wine fresh from Aldi I think they're only about £1.50 I'm not too sure something like that Spanish red wine ideal for camping nice little bottle mm. I we're just sitting having a bit crap on under the top. Young Chris, you know young Chris, he does his own music, him and his mate Tony and a couple of their other friends. They're starting to get their band going. They've been doing a lot of practicing. So he's playing some of his own tracks there. So I, later on when we're sitting chilling out, we'll play some, you know, just like on the, through the speaker. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. I can play them songs because I'm not going to get copyrighted because young Chris and his mate Tony wrote them songs. Aye. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm going to join the two lads and I'll bring you back soon, aye. I'll bring you back very soon and we'll put some original music on from The Shafts. That's the name of their band, The Shafts. Young Chris will tell you later on more about them. He'll tell you how you can... He'll tell you how you can go online and listen to their music he knows more than me you better believe he does mice Looks 
sings this? I've had a canny bit though. I think he's had the most though. Cheers guys. Yes. The three man dingoes back together once yes. again. What are you lads on to eh? Chin chin man Once again. Chin chin Boom. man dingoes. Boom skin bicycles. Actually got a decent vehicle once. Oh yes. This is the way guys. The way of the man dingo. And if you wonder who this music's by. It's young Chris's band. The Shafts. It's his friend Tony that's singing it. But, um, we're on SoundCloud. Where are you? Your guitar player, back I singer? I play guitar, sing, I do some action to it. He sings some songs, I sing with it. Well, you write some of the songs, I sing the songs, I. So we're on Sound, SoundCloud, I, with it. It's soundcloud.com slash the shaft sport. There you go, guys. Check it out. You know what I'm talking about, and you know it makes absolute total sense. Boom. Right. <laughs> Why were we doing Oh yes, man, then goes. Just enjoying a nice scotch egg. Windy now. As you can hear. Just popped out the tent there. Oh, you see it? It's bloody freezing. Just popped out for a quick scotch. It's proper phrase now. Hiccups. Oh, I've got the hiccups. Because I've been greedy and I've rammed that scotch egg down my mouth. Oh, Mason. Oh. What have I got for my main mail tonight? I'm looking forward to this later on. Snoodles, deep fried poodles. Chicorney Waver 
and king prawns. Yes, that is certainly going to be a meal fit for a mandingo. Right. Oh. <laughs> Hiccups, guys. Anyway, just to answer a quick question. Oh, yes. <laughs> Loads of people keep asking us all. Of... Oh. Sorry, guys, I've got the hiccups. Loads of people keep asking us all the time. Do I do cameo videos? Oh, pardon me. Will I ever do it? Is it something I'm thinking about doing? Yes, I know I get loads of people asking all the time. For example, I might get like a private message on, oh, pardon me, on Instagram. Hello, Mandingo. It's me dad's birthday. Next weekend, he's 60, he's called Brian. Can you send us a private message? You know, just like a 20 second message saying, happy birthday, Brian Mandingo. I hope you have a good one. You know it makes sense, right? Just something like that. And people are saying, can you do this? Can you do that? And there's loads and loads and loads of people asking with us working the two jobs and doing the, pardon me, and doing the two videos a week. And then there's all the editing the video and trying to keep up with the channel. Oh God, sorry, hiccups is really bad. Yeah, I just haven't got the time to do it. Oh. When I do leave the factory, which is something I'm definitely doing after Christmas, sometime in the new in the new year, I might have time to do that. So, I, what do you guys think? Because people, are, oh, the hiccups is ruining this. <clears throat> That's my own fault for being greedy and oh, and ramming it down my neck. Right, people are saying, how much would you charge Mandingo? You know, like for say, a 30 second private video that I could send you. How much would you charge Mandingo to do is this? I I haven't the poor price in it. I haven't even thought about, oh God, what should I charge? What do you guys think? What do you guys think a fair price would be to charge someone for a private message? Because I feel embarrassed, to be honest. I really do feel embarrassed to see it. Oh, £20 or £15 or... I don't know. Am I, am I talking shite? I've seen other people doing it for like £50, £60, £40. But these is like celebrities. I'm I'm no celebrity. I'm just some bloody fatty with a hernia. And <laughs> I like to go camping and talk shite. You know what I'm talking about, guys. What what would be a what would be a sensible price for a dickhead like me to charge for a private cameo video? You guys tell me in the comment section because I haven't got a clue. I don't even know if I'm going to do it, but there's that many people asking for private cameo videos, and like everyone that's doing it is saying, "I'll pay you, I'll pay you, bro." I don't know what to say. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of me talking shit. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about that. Right, I've got some cakes for me and the lads. Mr. Kipling, my good, my good Mandingo friend. Mr. Kipling, we are going to munch and glad back on these very soon. And I will bring you legend back when we're doing the world famous We View. Nice. Oh, oh yes, yes, Mandingos. You know what time it is. Waski time. time. And this is what we've got this week. Jack Daniels, single barrel, select. Boomskies. Not much left. Kindly given to us from a legend by the name of Stephen Duncan. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Stephen, my Mackham man friend Dingo. Ugh. You don't make sense. Let's get this popped in. Boom. Your famous cub Dingo. Why the stacks on? Man Dingoes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're properly on the dregs of society now. Alright, we've drank a candy bit of Get your massive baker rooney in there. My Jewish man friend Dingo. Mmm. I can definitely get the, the essence of honey. Bit honey in there? Honey, aye, bit honey. How about Give you? Chris a Give your massive schnecker rooney. 
Well, yours is and now we're, we're competing at the minute. You want to fucking compete. talk. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're competing at the minute, we're out. We're competing. Class of the Schnecks. Right. We've got the biggest Schnecks in this tent. <laughs> Schnecks United. Right, well, can I have a drink, man? Uh, Mark on. was supposed right, to sniff no, first. No, don't drink it because you're doing Schnecks 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 United. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is the fucking hilarious? Get it down, yeah. <laughs> what are you getting? Did you taste it there? Mm-hmm. Oh, you better just smell it, man. Every, Every time. time. <laughs> what are you getting the smell? Oak. <coughs> oh, oh, oak. <coughs> yeah, there's an orky thing there, guys. And I'm also getting... What, did you say honey? Oh, honey yeah, there's like a nice sweet honey. honey thing going on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. honey, yeah. orky. That's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. <laughs> you right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've left this too late, haven't we? Right. We should have done it. We should have done it when we had Three a bit hours more ago. Left. Three hours ago. Oh, I'm getting like a nice. I go, she rot. Oh, a peppery kick there. Ooh. <laughs> it's more, it's more oh, intense and, and punchy than the normal Jack Daniels. <laughs> it's it's 45 placenta. placenta, placenta, where your normal Jack D is 40. Yeah, a more powerful, punchy, peppery kick. But has still got that sweet honey thing going fruity on, guys. Tears. What are you getting, my man? Fruity, fruity tears. <laughs> Definitely got a bit of fruity. A bit of fruit, <laughs> fruity right. tears, no? Oh, come on. Let's see what Cowboy oh, thinks. Cowboy. Go on, Cowboy. It's Go definitely it. got a stronger, more powerful kick than your oh, normal Jack Daniels. Powerful, are we? What are you what getting? Do you reckon? <laughs> What do you reckon, cowboy Chris? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wasky, strong wasky, strong wasky. Here we go. Let's have another try, guys. Right, well, one more round. One more round. Let's go for it. Let's, Let's go, go for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Say no for me. For me. It's just like a, if you Orky. think of a Jack Daniels, Orky, honey. it's got a stronger, <clears throat> it's it's a stronger in alcohol, <laughs> but it's also a strong <laughs> taste as well. Peppery, a normal Jack Daniels hasn't got like a... <laughs> <laughs> we left this too late. <laughs> A normal Jack Daniels hasn't got like a peppery kick, it's just nice and sweet. Marks <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Like I, a good Jack ten, Daniels, like a ten, good, better I'm, quality of Jack Daniels with a peppery kick, wrecked. a stronger taste. Right, stronger. Just a better quality version oh, of your normal nice. Jack Daniels. And Jack Daniels is lovely, everyone likes a Jack Daniels, even if you're not a whiskey lover. You like a Jack Daniels, don't you? You know what I mean? Oh, aye. Last bit. Down the hatch. Boom, excuse me. Nice, I'll give it. Oh, oh it's mm. strong. It's nice. Right. Cool. I tell you what, having that nice and neat with no coke in. Right. It does certainly well. Need what? No coke in it. Yeah? Need Coca Cola mm -hmm. in it. Ah, oh, whatever. Need Pepsi oh, or need coke in it. <laughs> it's certainly warm as the old Chester Rooney up, guys. <coughs> anyway, lovely. I'm going to give my lovely. score first. Go on then. Once again, thank you to Stephen Duncan for that. Cheers, man. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. I'm Thanks going to give that, that a massive 9 out of 10. I think I'll give the normal <gasps> Jack Daniels. What? Just like what? A, like yeah. a 7. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll give the normal Jack Daniels something a 7.5 or 8. I can't remember it was that long ago. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Yes, a different, best, uh, better quality than normal Jack Daniels. Why are you words? That's what I'm stable. trying to say. Why I'm some lyrical genius. <laughs> Cowboy. Oh, Lutinsky, yeah, young Chris. Lutinsky, yeah. you go. Well, I like the ordinary Jack Daniels. It's a bit stronger than that, so I'll give it a good eight and a half. Eight and a half? Right. Eight and a half. So a nine, eight, eight and a half. half. I'll give that a good eight. Yes. And that's so. so that's average, average, you know me. An average score of, of what? 3.72. 15 and a half. 15 17. 3.79. There you go, guys. 
Something decent like scores, decent scores for Jack Daniels. Brilliant, but we should have kept more. We should have kept more. Select. You know what I'm talking about. You know what makes this sense. This is serious wild camping. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Why was sober? <laughs> okay, my fan sexuals. It's 11 p.m. Young Chris fell asleep, and he woke up, and he wants me and Cowboy out of his tent. So, the old burghouse, burghouse. Let's get in, guys. Oh yes. <laughs> Absolutely tremendous. I've got no drink left. The waski was the last. But I've got my food to cook. So I'm going to get in. I'm going to get settled. When I bring you guys back, we're going to cook a nice, lovely chicken and king prawn chow mein. Oh, yes. You better believe mandingos. You don't make sense. Right. Oh yes guys, time to do some munching and glad back. Chow mein, chicken and king prawn chow mein. No plate straight from the pan sexuality. Pan sexual. Mmm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. It's nearly two o'clock in the morning. The two Chris's are absolutely out for the count. Young Chris fell asleep earlier on when we were just sitting in the tent chilling out. And that can see Cowboy Chris getting tired as well. I've just been sitting chilling out. I've been watching a movie on my phone. Look at that. Oh yes. Hmm. I have just been sitting watching a movie. And then I've even been turning it off. Or just pressing pause and just lying here, just relaxing to the sound of the wind. It sounds a lot worse than what it really is. Anyone who's been camping a couple of times knows that. You can step outside for a slash garden now and it won't be as bad as it sounds. It's just because you're in the tent, that's all. Hmm. Well, I think it sounds great when you're just lying there, chilling out. Sound of the wind, or, or when it's raining, the sound of the wind, the wind, <laughs> sound of the wind, woony. Oh, yes. Look at that man, thing goes. Hmm.
fantastic work. Well, guys, I'm going to take this chance now to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported the Blot Outdoor Show over the last week. Thank you so much, guys. It really is appreciated more than anything in the world. So, so kind of you. You don't have to do it. I'm absolutely chuffed the bits that you've gone out your way to support my little channel. I keep seeing little channel, I've been seeing that that long. And it's not so little now, is it? It's starting to do well. So, for supporting my channel, I. I'm just over the moon like I see every week, guys. I'm just over the moon that you're watching. That does for me, man, then goes. You leave me a comment. Give us a thumbs up. I'm chuffed to bits with that. If you have gone out your way and you have bought us a coffee, whether it's through the Buy Me A Coffee link or through PayPal, yes, guys, this one, it's an absolutely massive special thank you to you guys. Thank you so much, you absolute bunch of legends. There's your names down there. And down there, Manding Wars. Now, don't worry if you can't see your names there. I'm a week ahead now. So as, you watch, as you're watching this now, on Sunday, I made this video last week. So if your names are not there, guys, don't worry. It'll be on next week's video. Oh, oh yes, you better believe the world man goes. Yeah, I haven't forgotten about you. Your names will be on next week's video, guys. If they're not there, you know what I'm talking about, and you know it makes absolute total sense. That's got cold straight away. It's that chilly. And it took ages. It took ages for it to heat up. Mm. Well, I'm going to finish this last bit off, guys. I might as well say good night. Good night. <laughs> I might as well say good night now. Good night, Vienna. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to finish the rest of my movie off when I get in my sleeping bag. So I'll see you absolute legends first thing in the morning. At coffee time. That's it. That is all gonorrhea. See you in the morning, guys. Bonjour. See you coffee time. <laughs> right. Good morning, Mandingos. Eight o'clock. <sighs> really windy during the night. So, didn't have the best of sleeps. The two Chris's is up. They're talking about getting packed away, so... That's why I'm up. <laughs> I could have lay for a bit longer. But if the two man dingoes is up, I might as well get up. You better believe it. Right, <laughs> I'm bursting for a quick class, Gordon. I'll bring you back in a minute. Air. That's it folks, that's us all packed away, just quickly show you, leave no trace and all that shite. Diesel. The two man dingoes is ready to go, right. young Chris has got a bin diesel, oh, I've got one. How are then? Let's get back down to the car, and it's Ofskis, Jolofskis, off to Matty G-Spots. Yes, oh yeah, big schmack.
right. Woo! Cross on the grass. Lovely. Oh, sheep shit. Right folks, that's it. That's the end of this week's camping video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had an absolutely fantastic time and a good laugh with the two Chris's. Have you enjoyed it, lads? It's been great, huh? Yes, that says it all, man, dingoes. Well, until next week, guys. Stay safe, you know what makes sense, and I will see you on my next stealth camping adventure. You better believe I will. Right. Right. There we go. Short and sweet. Oh, uh, air mason. Uh.